getting a girlfriend with a life and you are having the time of your life, you're having the time of your life, and then someone says, Yay, you owe us money, so you're going to jail. Now you're confused. What happened? <laughs> I don't want that to be your fate. So stick with me. <coughs> so Nani, welcome back to Money Matters with me, Ndaloza. Thank you for joining me today. Today's topic, you know what I'm talking about. Money. I am talking about girlfriend allowances and whether or not they are taxable. Okay. Before we get started on today's video, I need you to remember that I am not an expert. Just a girl who knows a thing or two, who wants you to know a thing or two too. Okay? So take everything with your salt. First of all, what is a girlfriend allowance? A girlfriend allowance is basically money that your partner gives you on how, however often being their girlfriend <laughs> basically basically that is the best way i can explain it you know i mean i wouldn't mind getting a little some something just j for no reason come on so are you supposed to be paying tax on a girlfriend allowance it depends okay and that is the answer that i will be explaining now it depends what does it depend on depends on the amount and it depends on whether the person who gave you this allowance paid the tax or not basically when you get a certain amount of money from a person as a gift SARS it's a cash gift SARS use it as a donation so that means that there might be donations tax on that amount of money Generally, donations tax is paid by the donor, so the person that gives the money. Um, but there are cases where if that person does not pay the donations tax, you must pay it as the person who received the money. Okay? The other thing that you need to consider whenever you receive any amount of money from anyone is that you need to declare that amount to SARS. Now... You're probably looking at me like, how will they know? It sucks, okay? They will know. They might not tell you now that they know. Maybe in five years, they'll come and be like, hmm. in 2022, you received this much and you didn't tell us about it. You didn't pay tax on it. Jail. We don't want that happening. So, you want to declare that amount to SARS. And like I said, generally, if it is applicable for donations tax, the donor will have to pay that tax. Now, which instance is donations tax applicable? If you receive an amount of less than 100000 in a year, there's no donations tax. So you and the donor will just declare that I received this money, I gave it this money as a donation. And then that 100000 will be exempt. It's only the amount above 100,000 in that year that will be taxed. The rate that it will be taxed at will be 20% for the first 30 million. Above 30 million, it is 25%. So, do you pay tax on a girlfriend allowance? It really, really depends on the amount. Make sure, dear children, that you are declaring your incomes and everything to SARS because they will find you. They will find out and they will find you. If there is an organization that works, it is SARS. They will find you and they will not find you when you're owing 10,000. They will find you when you're owing millions. You don't want that happening to you, do you? Do you? Okay. So let's declare our income and let's remember to pay SARS. If someone is giving you money and you can see that hey, it's above 100,000 now, you can just ask. I don't know how you ask that. I don't know what the nature of your relationship is. So, but maybe ask like, hey, are you aware of such and such and such? Because I told you. Okay. I do hope you find this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in
my next one. Thank you so much for watching.